Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I have a bunch of new makeup that I picked up from Ulta and Sephora and on Amazon, but a lot of the stuff that I got on Amazon you can actually get in either store. So I just thought I'd share it with you. A lot of it is very like fall related. I wanted some makeup inspiration so that I can create a bunch of fall makeup looks for you. And I just felt like I'm using a lot of the same stuff. I'm ready to venture out, try some new products. I've watched some reviews on some stuff. So I thought that I would pick it up and I wanted to share it with you today. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. I mean, this is primarily a drugstore fall haul. So I'm going to start with everything that I got from Ulta and then I'll finish off with what I got from Sephora. So the first thing I got was this Catrice Badass Bay eyeshadow palette. Looks like this, but it's just this beautiful, oh, like warm toned deliciousness. I just thought that this would be really great for very warm toned looks for fall. Obviously you can wear those looks any time of the year, but for me, I feel like this just screams like pumpkin spice latte. Like maybe I'll use this for my annual pumpkin spice latte look. I love all of the warm colors. Got a lot of matte colors too. I feel like a lot of times, at the drugstore, it's hard to find. Well, nowadays, not so much, but for the longest time, it was hard to find matte colors that are actually pretty good. I feel like makeup has just come such a long way in the last like 10 years. I thought this palette would be great for fall tutorials, so I can't wait to try that out. And I hope that the formula is really good. I've tried like three different things from Catrice and I've loved them so far. I actually have a foundation and concealer on the way in the mail. It hasn't been delivered yet, but I saw Tati's review on it, or she was talking about the foundation in a video and I ordered it right away. She was like in the middle of demonstrating it, talking about it, and I was like, and I ordered it. So it's it's on the way. But yeah, so far, what I've tried from Catrice, from Catrice has been amazing. I don't know who I saw talking about this. I think it was... Katie on Instagram. Um, this is the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. I picked this up from Amazon actually, and I got the shade light number three. I hope this color will match me. It's a little bit yellow. Eek. I don't think that color is going to match me. That's a little yellow, but the formula looks really nice. Ooh. And that actually, that smells really nice too. It smells like skincare. Let me just go ahead and blend this all the way in. I wonder if when I'm tan, I can make that work. Cause as I blend it out, it really shears out, but I just feel like it looks really, really orangey yellow. But I'm really excited about this. I've heard that the formula of this is really great. And I feel like people have been really talking about it online. So I had to pick it up and I can't wait to try this out. It seems like something I would really like because I'm really into like more natural finishes, either like a no foundation look or just a natural finish look of foundation. I mean, I kind of appreciate all types of foundation to be honest with you, but a full coverage thick matte isn't normally what I'm gonna be going towards. So this just really sounded like I would really like it. I picked up these blushes from Milani. These are, I believe, cream blushes. Yes, this is in Merlot Moment and Nude Kiss. So this is Nude Kiss and this is the Merlot Moment. I am just down with cream products like the last couple years. They've just really come, like brands have just really come out with really great cream products. I've been obsessed, especially with cream bronzers and blushes. So I picked these up. I thought that these were really great. Oh, damn it. I just dug my nail in there. Especially this one I thought would be really great for fall tutorials and fall makeup looks and stuff like that. This looks like it would be a really good, just like everyday kind of a color. My favorite way to apply cream products is just to grab my regular blush brush and then just pick it straight up in the pan and apply it. I feel like when creams really were coming about, I feel like it was normal to just grab your finger and like put it on that way. Or um, if it was like in stick form to just like draw it on that way. And you can totally do that. But I just feel like it's a lot easier to blend out this way. And it's a lot easier to apply in a more diffused manner by going in that way and applying it. I also feel like this just seems really intimidating because it's such a rich pigmented color and it's in a cream form. It just seems like, oh my gosh, it's gonna look exactly like that on my skin. When you go in with a really light hand, and what I would recommend with any cream product is when you pick it up with your brush, kind of dust it on the back of your hand or on like a paper towel or a cloth or whatever, just to see kind of like what you're working with. And then you can know how heavy handed you can go in with the product. So that was kind of just like a little side note, but I cannot wait to try these out. I think they are gonna be beautiful. I love Milani. It's one of my favorite brands. Can't wait to try them. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, lipsticks 
from Milani. Well, I don't get why I don't just start with one and see how it goes and then get more. I'm like, oh, this looks like it would be nice. Let me buy all six. So the first color I have is Pleasure. Looks like this up close. These look like very matte, delicious. Oh yeah. They're matte, but they are creamy. Look at that color. So that is the color Pleasure. It kind of just looks like a dusty, pinky nude. And then this one is Tease. This, I can tell, is gonna be one of my favorites. Oh, look at that color. That'll look good with what I've got on right now. That looks beautiful. And then this color is Desire. This looks like it's, oh yeah. Ooh, okay, this actually went on a little bit more brown than I thought, because in here I feel like it looks a little bit more plum, but I guess that looks like plummy brown. Oh, that looks delicious. This is, ooh, sensual. I picked up some good colors. Oh yeah, mm. So that's sensual. This is in the color Passion, looks like that. Lipsticks, lipsticks do it for me. Um, and then this last one is the color Secret. Just by looking at it, I feel like I'm actually not gonna like this one as much. That's actually really beautiful. These two are definitely my favorites, but I love them all. And that's, I mean, we'll see how they look and how they apply. I kinda wanna pop one on right now just because I wanna see. Let's, let's just do it, why not? I'm gonna grab the color Tease. That is good. That's really good. That's like bougie lipstick status. I am so excited about those and I'm so glad I was like, fuck it, let me get all of them. Cause I can see myself really, really using those. That is such a good selection. Normally in a range of lipsticks, there'll be one that's a little bit too pinky or I'll usually just find like a couple that I like. I love these and I don't know if there's actually more. I feel like there's gotta be. I must have just picked the ones that would be what I'm into, but mm, those are beautiful. They have like a little bit of a sheen to them. You can see the light kind of like bouncing off of them, but gorgeous, good everyday colors and everyday like nude, fall, rich, deliciousness. Mm, I'm excited. I've got another lip color here. This is Wet n Wild Liquid cat suit in Give Me Mocha. This is what the tube looks like up close. Ooh, this looks very like thick, moussey. Not what I was thinking was gonna be. Oh, that's nice. That is the color there. That is really nice. It is, kind of reminds me of this color and this color mixed together. It looks like a nice little like mauve shade. I'm excited. You can tell I'm in a <laughs> a certain color scheme. And I have a bunch more lipsticks, oh my gosh. By the way, I placed an order with Jason Wu. I ordered one of everything pretty much. I saw Tati talk about them, talk about him and I was like, I need it. It reminds me so much of KKW Beauty and I love that brand. So I thought, you know what? This is probably gonna be really, really good. Sold at Target. It's supposed to be here today, but it never got delivered. So maybe tomorrow it'll come in and I can maybe do like a full first impressions, like fall tutorial with it. I got so many of his lipsticks and I can't wait to compare them to these Milani ones. I feel like they're very similar looking. I have another lipstick. This is the Morphe lipstick in Honey. I feel like that color doesn't really look like a color I would normally pick, but maybe it'll swatch differently than you see on the outside here. Ooh, this is a really nice packaging. I was never really a huge Morphe fan. I feel like their eyeshadows were never really like my cup of tea but their setting spray is really, really amazing. And ooh, this looks like it's gonna be really nice. This is more so the color, obviously. I feel like this just does not match. This looks really, really cool toned. That looks really, really nice. That reminds me of the one that I just put on top of my lips right now. That looks really nice. That's a nice matte formula, but feels really moist. It really reminds me of the Tom Ford lipstick formula. Yeah, I can't wait to try that out. Maybe I'll use that in a tutorial soon or something. Now that I've seen that formula, I definitely wanna get more colors because that seems like a formula that I would really like. Although it looks like I don't need any more damn lipstick. I picked up two of the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liners. I am a lip liner whore. I love lip liners. If I had to pick one lip product, it would be lip liner, just because you can use it as lipstick. You can line your lips with it. It would, you, you could just do like a full lip look just with lip liner. The first color that I picked up was chai tea. Got chai tea and then I also got butter pecan. Do you say pecan, 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 pe pecan? What do you say? Ooh, these look nice. 
The formula seems really nice too. So I feel like the swatches online, they're really hard to tell on Ulta's website at least. It was really tricky for me to figure out what swatches I had to go to her video and watch the video just to see. And I was like, okay, that makes way more sense, but they were pretty far away. So it was kind of tricky to pick out a color, but I think I did good. And I feel like these are ones that I'm really gonna like. This is chai tea and then this is butter pecan. Those are really great neutral lip liners that I can totally see myself wearing. I compare those with all of these other shades. I compare them with other shades. I could put them on their own. And the formula is really nice. It reminds me a lot of the KKW Beauty Lip Liners, which is very like, it's like a moist feeling, but also dry at the same time, which is what you want. You don't want anything too creamy for a lip liner because then it's gonna bleed. You want it just creamy enough and just dry enough so that it's gonna stay put, but move easily. So this kind of gives me that vibe. I can kind of see myself liking to use this all over the lips, which is how I prefer to use my lip liners. So I'm really, really excited about these. You can tell I've got a theme going here with lipsticks. I'm in the mood for nude fall lips. So I went lash crazy. Um, I tried these lashes from ColourPop and they're in the style Chick. I um, showed you this in my August favorites video and in my first fall tutorial of this year. And I just loved the style. So I picked up another pair. They look like this. They're very like flirty and full and gorgeous. So then because the price was right, I picked up a couple more from ColourPop. These ones are in the color, and I always wanna say in the color, in the style queenie. They look so beautiful. The other thing too is I feel like these applied with ease. Like there was just no like obstacles. They just popped right on. And then I also got these, which D-A-M-E, is that Dom? Like Notre Dame? I don't know. So I got these. They all look gorgeous and I cannot wait to use them. I feel like I ran out of false lashes. And then I also got the House of Lashes Iconic Lights because these came out forever ago, but I feel like they're the most well-known lashes from House of Lashes. And when they came out with the Iconic Lights, it just wasn't really my vibe at the time. I wasn't really like, you know, so I figured, you know what, let me try them out. They've been out for so long and so many people use these lashes, especially Desi. I feel like she uses these all the time. These are the iconic lights from House of Lashes. So can't wait to try those out. Last but not least from Ulta, I got the, I totally forgot that I picked this up. This is the Kiko Charming Escape Silky highlighter. What color did I get? Golden Sunbeam. Ooh, ooh, I love this packaging. It reminds me of NARS. It doesn't feel like NARS packaging, but it's the same shape, the same kind of style, just a different feeling. This is what this looks like on the outside. I just wanted to show you because it's just so pretty. It's got this like cool print. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's very beautiful. I haven't even like swatched it yet. Let's see what this looks like. This looks so pretty. I can't wait to try this out. This looks glorious, just glorious. Moving on to Sephora, I did like a little Melt Cosmetics haul basically. I got three lipsticks, a gel liner, and a palette. Melt is just one of those brands that just gives me the feels. Um, I picked up three of their lipsticks because they just came out with these, I believe. The first one, I hate this name. I hate this name. When I hear people say this, I cringe so hard in my skin. But this is the color Zaddy. Ooh, but the, this looks so good. This is like the perfect peachy nude. You guys are gonna totally make fun of me. I'm gonna have an arm full of nudes. Ooh, this smells good. It smells like buttercream. Okay, wow, this is very stiff. I feel like, so I had some melt lipsticks. I had like the crazy colors, like the gray and the green. Do you remember when they had those? I don't know if they still do, but it was like a big deal when they first came out um, and they felt like straight up like powder dragging across your lips, but I didn't even care because the colors were so unique. And fun fact, Melt Cosmetics was one of the first brands to ever like repost one of my pictures. And it was a picture of me with the green lipstick on, I think. I, oh, and I think I put it like in between my mouth, something weird. Anyways, this kind of feels like that still, kind of like really, really pasty, like really dry. And the smell is similar. That's the color there. That looks like a very beautiful, Beautiful pinky nude um, reminds me of that one almost identically we've got Paris fling ultra matte lipstick I think it must be the same formula but yeah this one is Paris fling I love the detailing on the tube too I think that's so cool they've got some of the best packaging very very unique okay so this feels a lot creamier it doesn't feel as matte I feel like these are way too similar to be in the same lineup those are like identical 
I can't wait to try them on because one's gonna be more pink and one's gonna be more peach most likely. But honestly, like that's like the same freaking color. That's weird. If I had to pick one between those two shades, I would say Paris Fling. Already the, the formula actually seems a little bit creamier. And then the last lipstick I got is Working Girl. Ooh, this looks nice. I've been on the hunt for a lipstick that looks a lot like the um, more creamer, please, from Dose of Colors, the Desi X Katie lipstick, because that's such a unique lipstick. I use it all the time. Maybe not just on its own, but if I have something that's a little bit too cool and I need a little bit of warmth in there, like a little bit of honey, I pop that in and it sucks because it's discontinued so you guys can't get it and then I feel bad when I use it in videos. But I love that lipstick. I really wish they would make it permanent. So I've been on the hunt for something and this kind of reminded me of that. Why am I going in a curve? That looks so stupid. That looks gorgeous. I'm excited for that color. That's not at all like the Desi X Katie one. It looked like it would be in the tube. Let me show you what that one looks like just so you can get an idea. This is the Desi X Katie one. I guess that they're pretty similar. This one's just a little bit more cool toned. This one's a little bit warmer. I clearly bought way too many lipsticks. This is a little bit shameful. At least you'll be seeing new products. <laughs> I picked up this gel liner from Melt Cosmetics. This is the Spliff, Spliff gel liner. Looks like this, it is a rich, dark, chocolatey brown eyeliner. So when they came out with their liners, I think it was, or maybe this is, isn't when they came out with them, but it's when I first saw them. Last year, I picked up Burnish because I thought Burnish was gonna be that rich chocolatey brown color, but I actually mixed them up when I was ordering. And then when I went to go order the correct color, which was Spliff, this one, it was sold out. Then I totally forgot about it. What I wanted to do was like a really rich chocolatey brown eyeliner, like wing deal, but then they were out of it. And I could have gotten one from a different brand, but I just never did. I saw this because I just did a tutorial with this burnish one and I thought, ooh, let me get this one because this is the one I originally wanted. It's definitely, you can kind of see it here better. It's definitely more brown where the burnish is definitely more like a red plum. I'm excited about that. Last but certainly not least, I picked up a new cool toned eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited. I love cool tones and I love Melt Cosmetics. So this was just right up my alley. This is the Melt Mary Jane palette. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at how beautiful that is. All of that glitter. Oh, it's so glorious. So beautiful. Look at how gorgeous. I cannot wait to do a tutorial with this. This is so beautiful. You've got all of your cool tone shades in there. You've got more browns up to like more greens and your silvers right in between. It just looks so beautiful. So can't wait to do a tutorial with that. I'm so excited for all of these lip products. This is basically like a lipstick haul, but I can't wait for that Catrice foundation and concealer to come in. I can't wait to use it when it does. I've heard so many good things about it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up. I'm excited to do a bunch of fall tutorials. Let me know what you wanna see from me. It could be fall tutorial related. It could be not fall related. I know some of you guys are like not even in the fall mood, but it's basically fall here until Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.